Video production surrounds us in today's digital world. Some form of video production is involved in creating all of our favorite television shows, commercials, and even YouTube videos. In this video series, you will learn how to set up and operate equipment used to put on live broadcasts for a new show. Much of the media we watch daily is created live to make it valuable and up to date. In the first part of this lesson, we will go over the different types of equipment and how they are all connected, taking the images you are recording with your camera, mixing them, and broadcasting them live over the internet. As you follow along, feel free to pause, rewind, and play back any portion of this video as you connect and power up everything in your classroom. Cameras. First, we need to position the camera in front of our new set. It is best to position the tripod so that the camera is at a height that is approximately six inches above the eye level of your talent. When you have the camera set, we will run either HDMI or SDI cable to the switcher, which will mix all of your cameras. Your Data Video SE700 switcher can take two SDI and two HDMI connections. HDMI cable is ideal when your switcher and production station is less than 50 feet away or when you have a temporary need for making a connection. HD SDI cable is great for when you have a more permanent setup and can be used to connect your camera up to 300 feet away. If your camera has only HDMI and you want an SDI connection to the switcher or vice versa, you can use a converter. You may find HDMI cable to be cheaper and easier to connect, but whenever possible, it is a good idea to use HD SDI cable, which is more stable because of the connectors lock into place. If you are using a data video PTZ camera, like the PTC150 or the PTC120, you will run ethernet cable for your camera back to the switcher where you can put your camera controller. For each camera, connect the HDMI or SDI cable to the back of the switcher and connect the other end of the cable to your camera. Switcher. The switcher is the center of your production. The technical director will operate the switcher and decide which camera or media the audience will be viewing. The switcher will also combine all the video and sound together into one video and audio signal that can be streamed live and recorded. On the back of the switcher, you will see inputs on the left side and outputs in the center. Take an SDI cable, connect it to output 1, and connect the cable to the data video TC200. Character Generator Data Video TC200 The Data Video TC200 is a box that adds graphics to your program. The graphics are generated using a laptop running Data Video CG software, which you connect via the HDMI to the TC200 as well. The final SDI output on the back of the TC200 will have your graphics embedded with your video and audio, which is now ready to live stream and record. Recording and Streaming The NVS25 is an encoder and H.264 recorder. The NVS25 will take the video signal and live stream it to YouTube, Ustream, and many other CDNs, also known as Content Delivery Networks. While the NVS25 is doing this, it will record your video on a USB stick or USB hard drive, which you can connect in the front. On the back of the NVS25, you can also connect audio. However, if you connect your audio to the SE700, it will embed the audio with the video. Audio. After your video workflow is connected, it is time to connect your audio. You can either have a shotgun microphone to capture your talent's audio, a lavalier microphone, or both. The XLR cables from your microphone or wireless receiver will go to the audio mixer. If you would like to play music that is not attached to the video, or connect a sound effects board, you can do this using an iPad or even a smartphone with the headset jack connected to the audio mixer. The master out on your audio mixer will be XLR. 
run XLR cables for both the left and right stereo XLR outputs to the audio input of your data video SC700 switcher, which will join the audio with your video signal. The data video SC700 switcher has no delay between the audio and video, and your signals will match perfectly. For more data video tutorials and to learn more about our products, visit datavideo.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.